How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and talk NBA 2K21 next gen and today I'm finally going to be teaching you guys how to get an A plus in the my career on the next gen consoles. This will be for the center and not for the guard. The guard will be probably in a few days, maybe a week away fellas. I'm still trying to learn the craft of how to get an A plus consistently as a guard in 2K21 next gen but this is all the tips and tricks that I have learned being a center or even a big man in general. This will still work at the power forward position but these are my tips and tricks everything from rebounding how to play defense and everything in between so over the next few minutes I'm going to be teaching you all my tips and tricks when it comes to getting an A plus in the my career for the next generation consoles let's get into it so the first thing I want to talk about is just a few little things I say this every time I make these videos play longer minutes fellas play at least eight minutes ten minutes is the recommendation but at least eight minutes before you become a starter fellas just the more time you have on the court the more opportunity you have to get the A plus and if you do a turnover or two you're not stuffed you're not absolutely screwed because you actually have time to redeem yourself you actually have time to make up for your mistakes when you play on longer minutes so if you do have a turnover or two it's not the end of the world another thing to have a look at is going into coach communications or coach settings sorry and turning on team communication it helps a ton it really does especially on defense helping you when to switch when not to switch on the pick and rolls when screens are set it will tell you whether to hedge, whether to play high, whether to play low, whether to switch. It'll tell you what to do and it makes it a hell of a lot easier defending screens in NBA 2K in general. Not even just next gen. This has been even on current gen. You can take these tips and tricks and they will work whether it be 19, 20, 21 or next gen 21. It does not matter. These tips and tricks will work on any form of system. But the first thing I want to get into fellas is learning how to set screens. My god. The pick and roll Role in this game screens in general are so overpowered the AI just wigs out fellas they have no idea what to do it really isn't all you have to pretty much do is just set screens in front of your player walk up in front of your point guard at the top of the key hold circle he'll use that screen as soon as a player hits the screen pop pretty much works eight nine times out of ten you don't want to slash to the basket you want to cut to the corners so if the guy the big man that's guarding you is on the left side you want to pop to the right if the guy's on the right side you want to pop to the left it's simple as fellas even if you fully have to run behind your point guard to get to the other side so be it because you've got to remember that big man has to get through those two point guards so he's going to collide and get caught up in it and he's not going to be able to defend you he really isn't he's going to get caught up between those two point guards trying to guard each other and you just run around behind him the pop is way more useful than the roll, fellas. Trust me. But the roll works. If the big man steps up and tries to play sides, just wait for a second. Just wait, wait, wait. It might even take two or three seconds and then cut. And it will work every single time that the player tries to play sides or the, the AI tries to play sides. If he steps up and plays sides, the cut is open 100% of the time. There's no stopping it for the AI. As I said, the AI does not know how to defend screens. They talked about the AI learning all these new things for the AI to learn how to guard screens. It's worse. It really is. It's worse than current gen. Worse than 20. It's worse than 19. The AI defense in this game is absolutely abysmal when it comes to screens. They can't guard them. It's impossible, fellas. Don't forget, you can always set screens for shooters off ball. So if you're in the corner or your shooter's in the corner, go stand in front of him and hold O next to the player that is guarding him and your player will run around it. You don't have to run plays and everything like that to set screens and things like that. You can just stand in front of the player or stand next to the player that you want to screen and just hold O or hold circle. That's all you got to do, fellas, and the players will do the rest. The AI will actually run around your screen and use your screen effectively. That's the way you've got to do it. Holding O in front of the ball handler or the off-ball player will set a screen, and it's simple as, fellas. It really is. Do it over and over and over again. If you're not worried about repetitive gameplay, say, I get bored doing the same thing over and over and over again but if you don't the pick and roll will literally work every single time there's just three options if the guy plays sides you roll to the basket if the guy doesn't play sides you run to the side or pop to the side that he isn't on if he's standing directly behind run behind the point guard and throw it up you can shoot deep threes now fellas so just throw it up like if you can somewhat shoot it's easy money fellas if you're somewhat of a half decent shooter as a big you're making baskets every single time 
time. So the next thing I want to talk about is rebounding and defense is a must, fellas. People that don't play defense on my career aren't going to get A+. plus. They're not. If you don't play consistent defense where you're on your player 99.9% .9 of the time, you're not going to get the A+. plus. You're going to get defensive breakdowns, lever assignments, and everything in between. So you have to actually play defense, fellas. You can't just look on YouTube or look on Twitter while you don't have the ball in your hands. You actually have to play defense, and you actually have to rebound. That's the biggest thing because that's where you're going to get a lot of your stats is from your rebounding and your screens. Every time you set screens, you'll get a little bit. If they score off the screen, you'll get good screen set, assist, or whatever it is. Same with the rebounding. The more you rebound, the more chance you've got of getting an A+. Trust me, guys, but as a big, it's the best way to get teammate grade. So the first thing you want to do is play position. At all times, you should be standing in between your matchup and the basket at all times. So if there's any form of cut, you'll be there. If there's any form of slash to the basket after a shot, you will be there. Holding L2 helps a ton. Stand in position and hold L2 and you will bump every player that tries to run past you. It stops alley-oops, it stops cuts to the basket, it stops all the momentum that a player has driving to the basket, so it actually gives you a chance to defend them because if they cut you or cut past you without you bumping them, they're at full momentum. You aren't stopping them. It's impossible. You're going to get dunked on. 99.9% .9 of the time. You need to be in position every single time and you need to be holding L2 to actually stop the momentum with bumps. It really does help guys but the biggest thing that L2 helps when just trying to play position is boxing out because all of a sudden a player could throw up a shot and if you're always holding L2 and in position where's the player going to run? Your opposite centre. He's going to run straight into the back of you and you're going to be boxing him out every single time. Holding L2 99% of the time as a big when you're on defence is a must because you don't know when the shot's going to go up, but you're ready. That's the thing. So as soon as that shot goes up, you will be boxing out. Get the box out animation, and you'll get better rebounding animations when you box out. And it'll be impossible for the other guy to actually get rebounds because you're actually keeping him out. And if you hold the box and they jump, you'll get the foul. It's simple as, fellas. It's basketball 101. It's worked in 2K12, and it's still going to work in 2K21 next gen. Does not matter. So the last thing I want to talk about is blocking shots is harder than ever but it's rewarding. It really is, fellas, to get a mad big block or a swat or a pin against the backboard. It's gratifying in 2K21 next gen. It really is, but the first thing that you need to do is get the rim protector badge as high as possible, as fast as possible. Trust me, fellas, this badge is the most most used defensive badge. It's the most useful defensive badge because blocking ain't easy. You need to time your jumps perfectly. You need to be in perfect position or you're going to get dunked on a lot, especially by superstars like Westbrook or LeBron. LeBron James, they're going to dunk on you and they're going to have their way with you at times. But if you don't have this rim protector badge, trust me, guys. And jump timing is everything. You must be at the peak of your jump when the ball is released. So you need to time your jump so you're at the peak of your jump when he's releasing the ball. If you do that, you're going to get high contests every single time, fellas. Hands up defense is useless. You can't play hands up defense in NBA 2K21 next gen because your block rating determines your contest rating. So if you have a high block rating, you're going to get good contests. But if you have a low block rating, you're not going to have good contests. So if you left block out, it's going to be very hard for you to get contests inside the paint. It's pretty much going to be impossible, fellas. But the last thing I'm going to talk about when it comes to blocking is holding R2 will give you a stronger block. If you don't hold R2, you're going to jump straight up in the air with your arms straight up as more of a contest block. But if you want a SWAT block or a stronger block or a power block, what I like to call them, you need to be holding R2 and you actually move your arm to actually try and whack the ball instead of trying to stop the ball. That's the difference. There's a difference between an R2 block and just a normal block. A normal block will just jump up, hands up, straight up in the air, but an R2 block will actually swipe at the ball. Just one quick thing before I do end the video is just have a bit of trust in your superstar. I'm playing with the Mavericks and I'm trusting Luka Doncic. I'm giving him the ball, setting screens, letting him shoot, and he's making shots. The superstars in this game can play, fellas. The role players can't don't give the role players the ball, but the superstars can play, trust me. If you put a little bit of trust into the superstars, it will work out in the end. Trust me, fellas. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these rant and raves, leave a like, hit the subscribe button. I am on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so hitting that subscription button would really help out. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. I hope these tips and tricks really did help you guys get an A plus in NBA 2K21 next gen. But as I said, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. 
I'll catch his light up. <laughs> 